All right, guys. Uh, it was a, uh, you know, we kind of, we controlled the ball game from the very beginning and uh, on third down. On third down on offense and third down on defense, we created turnovers, which was a huge key. Our, our kicking game was much better, which we needed. Uh, got a little banged up in the secondary, and, and some young guys made some mistakes at the beginning of the fourth quarter. But overall, we were in control of the game. Five turnovers to no turnovers. I mean, what a turnover! What a switch from last year, huh? That, you know, we we didn't even come close to that. So we're in the plus five column, which we're going to need to be to continue to have success. But I'm proud of our offense and defensive line. Defensive line today got pushed around a little bit, but we were th rushing three, not rushing four most of the time when, when they were doing three-step drop. But offensive line did a heck of a job. You know, rushing 200 yards, what can you say? And then making big plays on third down, uh, uh, tight end. Uh, DJ uh, caught a third down pass in the end zone, which was a perfectly thrown pass. Quarterback played well. It was just a team effort. Coaches did a good job preparing for this game. We had to win this ball game on the road. We had to win it because we're getting ready to go through a, a tough stretch. And knowing we've only got five five days, uh, you know, we'll we'll try to get them all rested, and hopefully uh, our fans will show up, and uh, you know, we'll get a, we'll have a great game. I can tell play oh, much better than what Hayden played. Just the way he managed yeah. the offense, and plus he made plays too. Yeah, he managed the offense. He threw it to the right person. A uh, couple of throws he'd like to have back. Uh, he overthrew. Tends to, tends to overthrow a couple of times a game, and a lot of times when people play in zone, they play mostly man. So that was a tough ball game for him because he had to throw the ball on the money. Uh, he had to get the ball in on close coverage. And, you know, he, th he threw the ball well. I thought the protection was, was well. Uh, you know, just a, it was a fun game to watch him because he managed it, managed the clock, and uh, got us in the right place. Sometimes we had a running play call. He checked off and threw an out route and completed that. He's growing up. He's getting better and better. How about Mike Tyson? Uh, Mike Tyson played played very well. All of our secondary, uh, you know, Tyrell Gilbert, Gilbert really played well. Uh, made a couple mistakes, but we're going to make mistakes. We're playing more aggressive on defense, and guys are flying around. We got more speed. We got more experience. We just got to keep them healthy. Uh, again, but I'm proud of the offensive line. You know, when you rush for 200 yards against a Big Ten defensive front, I mean that that says something. Now I know we got 80 or 90 yards on an end around, but still you got to execute it. You know, we block well on the corner, uh, but. Uh, Fun game to watch for us. The, the offense is a little more open than it was last week. You'd be able to see what Zach Taylor can do. Oh, yeah. Is this the first time? We, we just got a we, – last week we, we ran about 25, 30 percent of our offense. This week we're about, I'd say, 50 to 60 percent. We got more and more. A lot of stuff we didn't run today that we'd worked on. And, you know, you you, you got to do that. I mean, you got to – we got a big package that we kind of condense it as we see how the game's going to go. Next week we'll obviously have to open up different defense. You know, Houston's all over the place. They blitz. They uh, they got a lot of speed. We, we know what they do. We played, them against, played against them. So uh, our guys know what they're getting into. So it'll be a big Thursday night game. What is the big challenge of making that five-day turnaround? Oh, getting everybody healthy. You know, it's big to win this game. You know, that's the reason we couldn't come in and get knocked to the ground and lose this game. We had to win this game, get some momentum, and uh, we knew it was going to be tough. It's tough to win anywhere on the road, and, and we control the ball. We control the football game, and that's what I was proud of. Now, you know, we'll go home. We'll, we'll lick our wounds a little bit. We'll pat ourselves on the back for about, about 14, 15 hours, but we, we'll have an actual practice tomorrow. We can't miss a practice. Uh, some guys are going to be sore. But I told them, I mean, you just got to grow up. I mean, it's early in the season, but uh, we got a, a top four or five team coming in that's uh, on a roll. And uh, they got us last year at their place. And, you know, it'll be a home field advantage for us. But we'll have a great game plan. And we've been working on them ever since the summer. Obviously, we don't work this past week, but we had put a lot of stuff in that we wanted to see. So it uh, uh, should be fun. What did you do to keep the team focused for this game and not looking too far ahead? I mean, we, you know, I was a little bit nervous about that because, you know, our guys, I heard a few of them talking about, you know, the Oklahoma game, this and that. And, you know, our coaches did a good job. I don't ever say anything about the, about the next week. I just talk about, and your coaches have to, in the dressing room and uh, meeting rooms during the week, talk to them about uh, stay focused on what's at hand. You know, we, we hadn't. Hadn't beat it, you know. We we went to Illinois a few years ago. Went to Ohio State a few years ago. We didn't. We hadn't beat a Big Ten team, uh, un, unless it was them at home. We hadn't beat them on the road. So um, we knew it was going. They they gave us their best shot, and uh, we we uh, controlled it pretty good. But I, again, it all goes back to your offensive line, your defense, of how we played, and we kept them out of the end zone. We got a pretty good lead. Anything else? Thank y'all. Okay.